Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the voice of Victory Agogo and um, I will teach you how I made this text effect using your smartphone and a very good data connection only. Alright, so let's get right into it. This is my browser, um, Chrome. You can start to use Google, Firefox, you know, Premium. I'm just going to load up photopea.com and allow it to load. So I'm going to click on open from computer. When I open from my computer, this affords me the privilege of loading up templates from my archive, from what the ones I have. All right, so I'm going to click on Media Picker or whatever leads you to your files. So it's going to lead me to text effects, and I'm going to click on Eons Text Effects. So I click on it once and allow it to load up. All right, so this usually takes one to two minutes to load up, depending on your your phone's ram and the network speed so um, for me it usually takes one minute tops all right so i'm just going to wait and i'm going to pause and then come back when it loads up so it has loaded up so it took about a minute like i said so the next thing we're going to do is to click on layers so this is layers where this arrow is pointing to so I click on it so you can see that there are different layers, background, edition, presentation, your text here. Now there are three things that concern us here. The ones that says your text here, the one that says edition, and the one that says background. This icon that looks like an eye, it enables us to make the layers invisible or visible. Like now when I click on the eye icon for this background, it becomes a PNG uh, image and it's usually better this way because it enables you to import in, import the text effects into your design in the PNG format. All right, so I'm going to click on this triangle um, thingy, triangle icon on the edition, and I'm going to click the eye icon on this overshadow. Now this overshadow removes this overshadowing light, so I'm just going to click the eye icon on overshadow, and then click the triangle icon again to hide everything all right so the next thing i'll do while still on this layers interface is to click your text here this layer that says your text here so click the, the square the transparent square that says eons so just click on it twice and then you see these things and then click on it again and then leave the layers panel by clicking on layers icon again now to continue to continue you click on the text you click on the the icon that says t that's your text editor so just click on it and then double tap on this and then it gives you this now it has highlighted the um, text for us to change the font and all that and we're going to use the most famous font known to any graphic designer bibas so i'm just going to set click on this agrosa uh, whatever it's the font panel and i'm going to search for bibas bibas so you can see bibas i'm going to load up bibas first and then another thing i'm going to do now is to reduce the size now this reduction of size and enables us to fit in a large rather a long text for instance you want to write a text like miracle this won't fit into this small place but now if you reduce the text the reduce the size of the text a much um longer text can fit in all right so i'm just going to reduce the size to 803 so 80 oh, there's already three there so it's in pixels and i'm just going to click on my enter key so click on my enter key uh, click on my enter key and then it's 803 pixels so i can see that the size is reduced so i'm going to work with this size all right so i'm in my text icon and i'm just going to remove and i can write like i can just write my name victory so if i click on this square this um if i just click on this if i click on a text it can highlight everything from beginning to the end so what i'll just do i don't want to highlight them so i just click and then i can just move if i want move the text all that move the text 
by or that I can highlight. So what I'm going to do right now is to save as a smart object. So save it as a smart object enables it to copy itself to the mockup. Do you understand? So I'm just going to go to file and I'm going to click on save smart object. So I'm going to wait for it to load. So when it has saved as a smart object, you see smart object updated. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this 187. Now you can see there are two squares. You see Kappa or whatever, and then you see 187. That's the, the main PSD file. So what I'm going to do is to click on that other PSD file, the one that says 187. Yeah, since that's the main PSD file, so the other one is a smart object. So I'm just going to click on it, click on it once, and wait for it to load up. So now you can see clearly that it is loaded up, and you can see that my name, Victory, is now in that text effect. Very amazing. Now if you go to layers, and I bring up the background, you can actually see the contrast. Can you see that? So I can... Go back and remove it so you can see if you notice you can see you know just take time and look at this you can now see that the text here is no longer that eo and it's not my name victory all right so that's how you make your text effect <clears throat> now the next thing is to save it now i'm just going to go to file and then click on export as and i'm going to save as a png since the background is transparent so click on png so wait for it to load. Now I can decide to change the name to Victory and then click on what save and then it downloads. All right, so I'm going to open this and tada, this is the text and this is so amazing, right? So for smartphone users that use Pixel app, I'm going to go to my Pixel app app now and show how I actually crop these out to use in it. Like, okay, so pause. All right, so this is my Pixel app app, all right? I make my designs with Pixel app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my text effect so just pause this is the text effect now if you can see very clearly you can just look closely you can see that there are some text written in white and i would not want that in my design so what i do this is the point where i can crop so i just you know toggle by using my hands to crop out those texts and try to crop the just and try to crop and get just the text effect so when I'm satisfied with what I've done, I'll click on this um, good, the good icon. So, and this is my text effect ready for me to use in design. So I can just, you know, I'm celebrating my birthday or stuff like that. Can put my picture and continue using it to design. So this is the final, final result of the text effect. Um, um using of getting of using the website to get my text effects so i can use it in whatever design i want i can use it even on my laptop and all that so eventually i using it on the laptop and all that you can import it to your your software and use the text effect to design so if you got much value from this video you want to like subscribe share to your friends see you in the next video bye <music>